You wouldn't know LeBron James was in his 19th NBA season just by looking at his numbers. He is averaging 29 points per game and he's doing it with an effective field goal percentage at 58%, his highest total as a LA Laker. He is averaging more steals than he has since he left the Heat and more blocks than he has since his first stint in Cleveland as a rookie. If you didn't know any better, you'd say this is just another season of peak LeBron, but nope. Even James knows this cannot last forever. He is currently 37 years old and still has the dream of playing with or at least in the same NBA game as his 17 year old son, Bronny. And that means making it into the 2024-2025 season during which Pops would turn 40. James is under contract through the 2022-2023 season. So there's no question that James will join Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Kobe Bryant, and Jamal Crawford as the lone NBA players to log at least 20 seasons in the NBA. Given that trajectory, I think LeBron will ensure that his final season coincides with Bronny's rookie season in the NBA, presumably in the 2024-2025 season. And by that point, LeBron might not be the same dominant player he once was, but I think he'd be willing to accept a relegated role and a relative pay cut so that he could play on his son's team. That would be any father's dream. So expect LeBron to keep his options open as a free agent until he knows which team drafts his son. But LeBron is doing everything he can to keep his body in top shape the older he gets. He spends around $1.5 million every year to keep his body right and tight by following a strict diet of healthy, nutritious foods and a four day a week workout routine on top of all of his Laker workouts. LeBron James keeps his body young by doing core exercises, high intensity strength training, yoga, meditation, and pilots, many things you and I both do when we go to the gym. Retiring in 2025 would end LeBron's career at the age of 40, but other players have lasted far longer. The oldest player in modern NBA history is center Kevin Willis, who played beyond his 44th birthday. There's also the matter of the all-time games played record. Robert Parrish, who played until he was 43, owns that record with 1,611 games played in the NBA. James has played in 1,333 NBA games and counting. He still has a long way to go on that front. The same is true of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's minutes records, which stands at 57,446. James is just above 51,000 and still has several years of work to do if he plans to break that record. Regardless of what happens, LeBron James is doing everything he can to keep his body in tip-top shape in hopes of one day playing next to his son, Bronny James, in the NBA.